Hello, I'm Wayne with Modular Hydro. Welcome back. Today I'm very excited. We're going to introduce two new systems that have been in the making for a very, very long time. And let me explain the difference between the two. This one is our EcoFlow Cube. It is a 12 quart grow cube with a 12 quart reservoir. Now, this you can grow the largest of plants in. You can grow a four to six foot plant very comfortably in this system. The second one is a smaller version of the EcoFlow Cube, and that's called the EcoFlow Cube Countertop. Very, very small footprint, but you can still grow a three foot plant in this system quite comfortably. Not only are we going to talk about how these systems work, we're going to actually show you how to put one together, how quick and easy it is. It's one of the fastest, simplest hydroponic systems on the market today. So we're going to go ahead and actually put one of these together. You have basically two main parts. You have your, your uh, grow cube and you have your reservoir which is going to hold your water and your nutrients. We're going to first go ahead and take our pump manifold and we're, we're going to snap in our 90 degree angle feeder tube and our direct top feed ring. Snap that in also. That's it. You're done with this. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to feed the ring through the pre-drilled holes and then we're going to connect that to our pump. But before we do that we also want to talk about another technology we have and this is optional with both systems and that's our air injection technology. You can order air injection technology with any of our systems. What it does is it supercharges your reservoir with a lot of oxygen. So the air and the oxygen goes directly to the reservoir. So we're going to go ahead and show you how to install that for those of you that do order that. The holes are already pre-done. All you do is simply plug them in, run your tubing through, take your air injection ring, connect that on, Okay. Then you're going to drop this down into your reservoir. Now from this point you want to install your pump. So all you simply do is take your pump, connect it to your tubing here, and place that on the bottom of the reservoir. Okay, that's it. Your system is basically put together at this point. You're done. That's just two parts that you had to connect up. Now at this point, we're going to go ahead and we're going to put in our grow media. Today we're going to go ahead and use grow stones. In this system, we have hydrogen type clay pellets already in the system. But we're actually showing you from scratch how to put your system together. Now we're going to drop our grow stones in here. You would fill that about one third of the way up and then go ahead and put your plant in there and then fill the remaining grow media around the plant. But for simplicity reasons, we're just going to fill the rest of it with our grow stones. Okay, at this point we're, we're ready to add our nutrients and our water. So we just simply take our pre-mixed nutrients and water. And remember, before any, any grow media you ever use, always rinse the grow media first. Now our nutrients in our water have already been checked for pH, so we just simply fill the container. And we're going to go into a little bit more detail on how this system actually works and what makes it so revolutionary in the industry. And that only takes three quarts of water and you're done. Now while the system is running, what's unique about this is while the system is running at any given time, you're only using about a cup of water, maybe a cup and a half at the most. What it's doing is it's pulling the nutrients and the water from the reservoir. It's pouring down over the top so it's direct feeding to the roots and it's draining back into the reservoir immediately. So you're not using a large volume of water. At this point, we're going to go ahead 
and we're going to plug it in and get it up and running. Now this is start to finish. It's only what two two and a half minutes start to finish on this entire system. That's pretty phenomenal when you think about it. So we plug the system in. It is now actually up and running. As you can see, what's happening is the water is pouring out and the pump is priming. So it might take a minute or two until the pump, because it's a brand new pump, it might take a minute or two until that pump actually primes. And if it doesn't, just simply unplug, plug it back in again, and let all that air get out of the pump. Okay, at this point, as you can see, there's quite a bit of water coming out of these emitters. Now, these, there's four emitters that are around the container, and we're going to give you a close-up now of how this thing works. Now, at this point, we're going to show you the inner workings and close-up of how the system works. But remember, we installed our air injection technology. You just take your hose at this point, connect it to your pump, and turn your pump on. That's all you got to do. Now you have all that oxygenated air forced into the reservoir. Now what's happening is the pump is pumping that super rich oxygen enriched air up into your drip ring, your top feed ring. And as you can see, how that's constantly pouring out. Remember, you're only using about a cup to a cup and a half of water at any given time, and it's going directly back into the re reservoir. Now what else is unique? We're going to talk about, there's, there's two things that are very hard to do with most hydroponic systems. One is checking your pH. We're going to do that right now. We're going to show you how simple that is. Watch this. I didn't have to remove a reservoir cover, nothing. Check my pH and you're done with that. That's done. The other thing that is extremely hard in this industry with almost all hydroponic systems is how do we change the water in that reservoir? We're going to show you how to do that. Just simply take at this point and turn off your pump. Okay, our pump is now off. What we're going to do is we're going to take this direct top feed piece and we're going to plug in our drain line. We're going to put that into our reservoir. And what's nice about this is you could be on the floor, it could be on a table, it doesn't matter because it's not gravity fed. You're just going to place your tube into your reservoir bucket, that your waste bucket, and it could be any, any bucket, it doesn't matter, and pl plug your pump back in. What's happening now is the water is being pumped from your reservoir directly from here into your waste bucket, as you can see this. And it only takes about three, three and a half minutes. So at this point, just simply sit back and relax. Now that about three or four minutes have passed, we've actually drained our entire reservoir. So we're going to go ahead and take our drain tube, disconnect from our emitter. That's all you do is pull it off, position your emitter straight back down, and that's it. You completely drained your system. Well, let me go ahead and show you the water that just came out of this hydroponic system. So that's completely done. Take your wastewater and dump it on a plant outside somewhere. Don't throw it down the sink or down the toilet. Take it outside and feed a plant with it. Okay, now your system is completely drained. There may be maybe one half, one half inch of water on the bottom of the reservoir, but that's okay, because now you're gonna go ahead and refill. So all you simply do is pour your nutrient solution straight back into your container, fill the system back up. This is how easy this is. And that's it, you're done. You can plug your system back in. As soon as you do this, you're ready. That's it, that, that, that was the entire process. We just went from building an entire new system, draining the system, checking the pH, with absolutely no complications, no outside fittings, no un unsightly hoses, everything is self-contained. It literally takes only two to three minutes to build the system when it arrives at your door and that's it, you're ready to grow again. And folks, the way in the future truly is growing in cubes like this, and I'll tell you why. I'm gonna show you what two cubes look like together. Okay, very close knit. Within a one and a half square foot area, you can have four of these cubes growing, and as your plants grow, you can just slide your cubes apart. That's all you do. 
So it is extremely versatile. It truly is the way of the future. It's one thing I learned out of 32 years of growing, this definitely is the way of the future. It, it's so simple and so easy to operate these systems. Maintenance-wise, it's very minimal. Putting them together only takes a few minutes. And uh, I, I hope you enjoyed this video because we're excited about this product. This is going to be one of our fastest selling systems. Remember, it comes in the EcoFlow Cube countertop and the EcoFlow Cube for those people that want to grow extremely, extremely tall plants. Again, I'm Wayne. Don't forget, go to modularhydro.com for informative type videos such as this. Again, thank you.